<laughs> just had some technical problems. The gremlins today, Mum. There yeah. are gremlins everywhere. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're back and we're making for you guys homok ba, which is a traditional Thai dish. It's fish steamed in some banana leaf cups and we're going to show you how to make the cutest banana leaf cups ever. So why don't you get going on this, Mum, and show everyone. So we've got, so if you can imagine, this has come straight from a banana tree um, and you can often find banana leaves in a Thai grocer or an yes. Asian, Asian grocery store. But we'll show you later what to do if you don't have banana leaves, don't worry. But why don't you show everyone how this, how this goes, Mum? You're the, you're the banana leaf expert. Okay. Well, you, do, you have to open it up. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Right? To a banana like that. Yeah. Huh? Okay. So you break up, you don't want this one. It's okay. no good. So first of just, all, you just, just about this much. Peel it like that. Okay. So okay. we're just making these little school, um, rectangles first. Yes. Need two. Okay. Need, need two like that. Okay. Two yep. rectangles. Yep. Two. Per cup, right? Per cup. Yep. Okay. So we've got our two. Yep. So that's your banana leaf. Yep. So per cup, you want two of these rectangles. And then I see, so the banana leaf has two sides, right? Yeah. This is the shiny side. Shiny side. And then a not shiny side. So how do you work all that out? Uh, what we do is we use the cooking, we use the shiny one. Mm -hmm. This one we don't just... So the food is always in contact with uh, the, sh the shiny, shiny side. Shiny okay, side, yeah. right. Now we've got the two piece. Okay. So we make it, see, the two... Back, uh, top and bottom different. Yes, I okay. can see that. So, so you turn over yep. just like that. Okay, so we've got shiny side on both sides. Yep. Right? Yep. And then time to cut a circle. Cut a circle. Yeah. Is it sharp hole knife? Mm -hmm. Okay. Make it easy. Just push it a bit harder. Like that, right? Yeah. Like that. And yeah. who taught you to make these cups, this Mum? Was, uh, I learned from um, young, from my village, from my auntie, from because auntie. I love cooking. I'm always in the kitchen, <laughs> uh, do the cooking. And See, I just, you know, yeah. I love that. I love being able to learn these things yeah. from you because yeah. where else would you learn how to make banana leaf cups but from your mum? <laughs> so, okay. because you've got those and then you've got this one as well. So let's yeah. make that. See? So the, yep. shi two, the two pale sides together, together. shiny sides on the outside. Yeah. So your top and tail different. Yep. You see, you see different? Mm hmm Yep. Like. Goes on there. Uh, you do like that again. Yep. Same so thing. you can often, so I found, so these are fresh leaves. Um, sometimes Asian grocers will have them in the freezer section yes. or in like little vacuum sealed bags. So look out for those as well. Yep. But with the fresh ones, um, they're a little stiff. So if you go to fold them up now, they sort of crack and tear and you'll get holes in your cup and then everything leaks out. It's a disaster. Yep. So what you need to do to prepare these is heat them up. Isn't that right, yep. Mum? So we get, so you just want to heat up just, you know, your hot plate. Yep. Just wait till that gets hot. And then you just literally, here you go, Mum, you throw them on and then they soften up. Not too high. Yep. Just throw one on like that, quick like that. Yeah. Right? And quicker. And you just like that. It should be enough. You can see the different. You can see all the uh, we don't want this because it's uh, you see they soft a little bit. Yeah. Actually, that's all see, enough. It starts to get a little that's shiny, shiny and that's soft, enough. doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's enough. And you can see so that's already so much softer. Yeah. Yeah, yep, you can than see. Before. Yep. So these are just the little little mum tricks to yep. getting the cups right. Yep, yep. I love that. Yep. So you can see that. You can see the colour. Yeah. That mean that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh. so, um, if you're just joining us, we are making homok bla, which is Thai steamed fish in banana leaf cups, um, and this is going to be one of our last live episodes for a little while actually because I'm going to be heading off to well we're expecting baby girl at any yeah. minute now so um, we thought this should be the last live show uh, and but we'll be back later yeah. in yes. a few months <laughs> yeah okay so we've got these all prepared uh, and now what do we do mum now we make a cup okay you, you start from this end okay uh -huh. So you're making like a fold, yeah, the fold like a little yeah. pleat, like a pleat, and yeah. then you've got some, uh, just a toothpick that you just cut yep. into Do a that small. With a sharp, sharp end, uh, yeah. like, turn like that, okay? okay, like that, and you turn opposite, opposite side, opposite yeah. side, opposite side, and then here's side. your toothpick, okay, okay, I might just, yeah, 
Yeah, do the same this way, the opposite side, always opposite right. side. Lynn, do we have any questions from anyone yet so far? Is everyone following? Are you all following along so far with the cup? Are we explaining it all right? Yeah, everyone loves it. Everyone's okay? All right, let us know if you've got any questions. Uh, and see? let us know where you're from as well. We like to hear you know, where you're from, now, where now you're watching from. Now you see from. how they make the cup. Okay, so this is how cute is that? So yep. our nice little banana leaf cup. Yep. You um, make so one. one. Oh, you want me to? Oh, yeah, I get to make, make one. one. Do yes. I? Okay. Yes. All right. Mine you won't be one. as pretty as yours, but yes. okay. So we make yes. one fold here. Yep. All right. Okay. So just put that together, and then we go the other side yep. and fold that together. Yep. Okay. And then we do these sides. So it's yep. almost like you're making sort of like a sort of round, mm -hmm. little round cup like that. Mm -hmm. And then over there. There you go. Did I do oh, okay? Look at that. Look at that. So cute. Oh, now look, you better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Now, if banana leaf cups, or you can't find a hold of hold of, um, you can't get a hold of banana leaves, a good old ramekin is going to be yes, fine. Yes, be fine. Yes. <laughs> um, yep. Do try it with the ramekin if you can't get a hold of the banana leaves, because it is a beautiful dish no matter what. Yep. Um, but I just thought I'd let you guys in on how to make those amazing traditional cups, because you know I think that's yes. a really cool, mm -hmm. a cool old school yes. mum tip, you know, yes. mum <laughs> secret thing to be able to do. Okay, yes. so let's get started on the fish, mum. So how yeah. do we? How do we uh, get going on that? I'll fish, get stuff out for you. Okay. All right. So what kind of what kind of fish are we using? With this, today we're using mackerel. Uh huh. Uh, but you can use uh, white fillers fish or yeah, uh, any mackerel. kind of fish. Any oh, kind I'll of fish. I'll just turn this on so we've got that heating up. Yeah. Okay. So we've got and we you've just cut that into some small, small little pieces. Small yeah. pieces, small right? Small little pieces. The, the Piece, okay. Small little piece. Yeah. Yeah. So I love this dish because it's it, it's so much fragrance. Like it's beautiful spices and the curry paste and the ah oh, wait, it's just so good. Wait till you see it. All right. So we're using um, some red curry paste. Now we're very lucky, aren't we, Mum? Because we make our own curry paste. Yes. <laughs> and we've got our Marion's Kitchen. Marion's Kitchen curry red curry paste. The best curry paste. <laughs> The best curry paste. Best curry paste. Um, so we're using our Marion's Kitchen red curry paste, but on my website, so on marionskitchen.com, for this <laughs> recipe I've included um, a from scratch red curry paste. So if you'd like to make your own, um, head to the website and you can find our recipe. Uh, and our Marion's Kitchen red curry paste has all the same ingredients that we would yes. use for, for mm -hmm. our from scratch yep. curry paste. When you're buying curry paste, what are we looking for, Mum? If people have got out there buying well, not just Marion's Kitchen, but what's a good curry paste, red curry paste got in it? Red, red curry paste got, it's got uh, big long red chilli, dried chilli. it's the dried chilies, isn't dried it? Dried chilli. That you can flavor. see, yeah, big long one. Mm -hmm. And you've got lemongrass. Lemongrass. And galanga. Galanga, and, and shallots. Shallot. Yeah. And then the ingredient that we always put in our curry paste is um, kaffir lime peel Kambi as well. Peel, yep. Yep. And skin. shrimp paste. So you're looking for all those sorts of ingredients. Yep. And with the Thai curry paste, it's the, the dry spice, unlike Indian curry paste, yep. dry spice is only a really small amount. Yep. So look for the dry spices towards the end of the ingredient list. Yes. And that's mm -hmm. it. That's what you're looking for. Yes. Um, so that smells amazing already. So yes. what else do we need in here? We need uh, coconut. Coconut. Coconut, coconut, coconut milk. milk. Here you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. And what else? You need eggs as well, don't you? Yeah. So what we're sort of making is like almost like a, a Coconut fish meal. Yeah. Put uh, you let some a little bit yeah, before we about three quarters of a cup. Yeah, yeah. quarter cup. All right. So you want the eggs uh, in there? Two eggs. Yeah. Uh, oh, you want to whisk it first? Uh, I, I got a four. Okay. Whisk the egg mm -hmm. first a little bit, and you. So we're sort of making a, like a, a fish yeah, mousse a mousse, little bit. Yes. Yeah, just put beautiful in. spice. Okay, and then you want some rice flour yes. to thicken it up. Yep. All right. How much of that? Uh, One. Yep. That's it. Two. Great. Yep. There you go. Okay. Keep stirring. Have we got any questions, Lynn? Um, 
Okay, yeah, so banana leaves, if you've got a friend who happens to, or a neighbour that happens to have a banana tree, I would think about pinching one of some leaves from them. Uh, but Asian grocery stores um, often do have banana leaves, fresh or in packets, vacuum sealed packets. Uh, so I would try there, but otherwise um, use a ramekin. Any old baking ramekin is good to use as well. Yeah. You see, you can start the smell. Okay, nice. so this is the important part, isn't it? When you're mixing. Yep. When you make it for a little while, you yeah. can see that they start to be look a little bit thicker. Yeah. You can feel that. So this is the part you don't want to skip out on. You actually no. want to stir it. Yep. For a little no, while until that, it thickens yeah. up. Yep. Yep. That how the steam fish this Thai, uh, Thai style. We right. have to do a little bit. You know, work oh, on you need that. you need some elbow grease in there, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can see, so it starts to get thick and shiny. Um, just, uh, it's, I think it's like, um, you know, the fish itself is just sort of stirring yeah. around. Yeah. Sort of starts to break up and, and thicken the sauce. Yeah. So that looks really good. I, it just smells beautiful yeah, yeah. already. The curry okay. and the coconut. That will you get ready now. Okay, yep, great. You can see that. And then, so what we've got here, so to fill up our little cups, We've got a little bit of cabbage, so we put cabbage in the bottom. Yep. And we, I usually find, you know, one of these little cups per person is pretty good. And you've got some other oh, bits and pieces like rice yes, and that yes. sort of thing. We can oh, we're going to make the coconut topping too, don't we? Yep. Okay. The pot. Get this out. Okay, so before we assemble, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Before we assemble the banana leaf cup, we just need to make one more sauce. And that is a little coconut cream topping. So, got some coconut cream in here. Yep, that's it. Yep. And some rice flour again to thicken yep. it up. That would go. go on top of the fish. Yep. Third, you can see when they get ready, you can see they thick. A pinch of salt. That looks good. Yep. Okay, so where do we have people watching from today? We've got people watching from Adelaide. Hi, welcome. Oh, hello. We loved it when I lived in Adelaide, didn't we? Yeah. I used to live at Selix Beach down yep. uh, near McLaren Vale. Yeah, we loved oh, it. Oh my goodness, it was just beautiful. beautiful. Great wine, beach, food. It's yep. pretty much like my ideal spot. Yep. Awesome. And Lovely. so if you're joining us from the US, it's very early. It's about 4 or 5 a.m. So I hope you don't mind having or watching us cook fish for, for breakfast. <laughs> okay, so that's looking like it's thickening up. Yep. And then if you have a look, so even just sitting here, you know, this mixture is really, really thickened up and that's what you're looking for with this fish, fish mixture. So should I start putting this into here, Mum? Yes. So you want to put some Thai basil in here as well on top of our, our cabbage. And then the fish goes in. And so what you're getting when this fish cooks, as it steams, you get that beautiful Thai basil wafting up through the whole mixture and flavoring everything. And then of course that amazing, you know, curry paste flavor and the coconut, so good. All right. So fill these up. Now, you could do these in advance, couldn't you, Mum, if you were doing yep. it for a dinner party? Yep. And what, would you steam it first and then reheat it, or yep. would you just leave it like this? It just, uh, you can steam it first, yeah. right? It and actually, and it actually you reheats you can do it really quite yeah, well, it the steaming. Really well, yeah. So you could, you could make these up, steam them, and then pop them in the fridge, and then just re-steam them uh, when, when you're ready to serve for your yep. dinner party. Very impressive as a dinner party dish, definitely. Okay. So, we've got our little cups, and then we want to put some of coconut cream on top. You spring like this, right? Yeah. On the top, like nice. that. Nice. Like that. Oh, that looks so beautiful, Mum. I love it. Yes. And then and the kaffir uh, lime leaves. Yes, kaffir lime leaf. Okay. Yep. All right. And then some chilies, yep. just some slices of chili for a bit yep. of color. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. So let's talk about how we steam these guys. 
So we've got a little setup here. I've um, we've got a wok, and then what I've done is actually put a little cake rack in the bottom of that, and then you've got the water sitting underneath the cake rack. So no, you know, if you don't have a fancy bamboo steamer or no, anything like that, that's okay. That's fine. Yeah. You can um, you can just use a cake rack and yes. put some water underneath, right? Yes. Okay. So we put. Yep. A little. Do we have a question? Yes, um, Christine is asking what is the difference between coconut cream and coconut milk? Oh, that's a very good question, Kristen. So with the coconut cream and coconut milk, um, basically a good coconut milk you're looking for, it's, it's similar to the process of, of olive oil, right? So you've got um, the first pressing of the coconut meat gives you the cream, it's really thick. Um, and the really good quality coconut milk will not have, coconut cream, will not have too much water or anything else added. It's just a really good first pressing and it's thick, yeah. coconutty. And then as you get into your coconut milk, you're adding a little bit more water as you're pressing that flesh. So yeah. you're getting um, a thinner consistency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but always look out for the coconut milk and coconut cream with the least amount of ingredients. That's mm -hmm. the best one. Yeah. Okay, so, what, so the, these are steaming. So what you would do is Put the lid on and they only need about 20, 25 minutes yep. to cook through. Yep. Um, and we of course have some ready to go because what would be the point of making them without being able to eat them straight away? <laughs> 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 Alright, so let me clear this away. Okay, let me clear this. Yep, and I'll grab our plate out. Okay, so these are some that we've had steaming in in the steamer for a little while. So pull out one of those. Oop. They look delicious, Mum. Yep. Yum. And you can see that, that you know, the little banana leaf cup is held up very nicely. Yep. We've got no leakage. Okay. And then we like to put a little bit of, you know, fresh, fresh herbs on the top. Just because when they steam, they sort of yep. sink down a little bit. go. Oh, this looks so good. And so yeah, you just uh, serve this with a little bit of rice or any other sort of Thai dishes for a Thai banquet. Uh, do we have any other questions? Oh yeah, oh, tuna yes. fish is great. Can yep. you? Yep. So the question is, can we use tuna fish? And, and you totally can. Tuna, salmon, yep. um, any kind of fish yes. really. White, any kind of white fish is good. Yes. Or yeah. prawn. Oh, your prawns, prawn. that would be really you can nice. Do prawn yeah, if you like. Yum. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's dig in here and have a look. So so what you can see is you've got this, you know, beautiful layer of nicely steamed spiced fish. And it's almost like a little bit of a kind of mousse. Yeah. It smells amazing. Yum. Mmm. So good. Do you know what, what's really great about steaming fish like this? Is that because you're steaming and there's so much moisture, you really keep the fish nice and moist. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't yes. dry out. It's really beautiful. No. no. All right. All right. Well, that was gorgeous, Mum. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much yeah. for joining <laughs> us. We love <laughs> having you. Yeah, I love to have you. Yeah. Um, so it's been so lovely having you guys join us every week. Um, please check out the res um, recipe at my website, marionskitchen.com. And um, yeah, it's goodbye for now for goodbye a little while. For, now, for a little while, yes. And next time we see you, there'll be three of us in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. See Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. You want to try?